Hi, I'm back. Now we're moving into the new section of our report. It's, uh, I didn't say the date before, it's November 18th, 2023. And I'm finishing up my news and economic and the economic calendar for the week. I see um, the big hubbub yesterday was because uh, the feds talked about the interest rates and people supposedly, this is the first I heard of it, well maybe it's not, I just didn't keep it in, I just didn't keep it in mind. Uh, people were possibly, were thinking that possibly the feds were going to start lowering rates, but um, they didn't say they weren't, they just cooled the conversation, so said one of these, uh, let's see, was that the very first one? Who recorded that? I had it, I had it, oh, let's see, continues. Here, this one here. This was by, uh, Roy, this was from Reuters. Wall Street's three major indexes edged up slightly on, Fed on Friday as investors digested recent gains while remarks from the Federal Reserve officials clouded the outlook. So clouded the outlook about when the U.S. Central Bank might start cutting. Not cold, clouded. Big downer for a lot of stocks on that one. Some of them came back. Oh, that's right. I didn't. I didn't look at stock prices since Thursday. So they did a little better yesterday. Let's see. Exports from India. People are looking. Companies are figuring on them going up. They're talking about the exports from India and how much money that might mean to certain stocks. I'm not going to plug any stocks here, so I'm not going to say the names. But at APEC, Biden touts workers' rights, stable Chinese relations. I just realized, or maybe not just, but it just started biting into me really bad yesterday that um, Biden made the statement a couple months ago that we're not done yet. Like what? What did he do? I got my snap cut by half. They should be increasing poor people's um, food benefit, if anything, not decreasing it. It only increased temporarily for COVID. We got more money for gas during COVID and more money for SNAP. But that, those, that was all just temporary stuff. So Biden has done a lot less than nothing for me. And I'm one of the most vulnerable people in the world. I'm dying of exposure in my own home because of the pollution and the psycho Razi. People that are living that are homeless, some people that are homeless have a better chance than I do. If it's a ch when they're, when it's a choice, some people choose to live on the street. I've met I've met one such fellow in Florida when I was when I went to Florida to visit my cousin and uh, her daughter and I went out and, and got a coffee or something and we met a homeless guy there that we um, wanted to share with so we did and we sat and talked with him for a while and it was his choice this particular guy it was a choice that he made Gap sees bleak holiday quarter I'm not supposed to say the name.
maybe I'll do this, the, the news separately. They're not coming up with anything that's germane. This is all individual. Maybe I should do, uh, I'll just see what's on Wall Street headlines. Out at OpenAI after board screamers. Sam Altman is out. There goes my screen. Every time I do something they don't want me to do, they black my screen out. Oh, they want me to plug some individual stocks. Because all they're worried about is volatility. Well, I'm not going to help in that department. I'll help in the, I, I would if they would get their if they would get their cultural DNA straightened out. I would help. I would help doing that because then it wouldn't matter. If Wall Street had its priorities straightened out, it wouldn't matter what plug, what stock you plugged, because then we the people would be telling, would be would be um or. The health and welfare of we the people would be dictating what makes stocks go up or down, not what the privileged people that just want to accumulate more wealth tell it to do. All the parameters of, of what makes the market go up or down are all programmed in and bylawed and policy policycated in. It's people that tell the market what to do. It's the, the market isn't a living thing, and, it, and, it, and it's not sitting there saying, well, I'm going to go up and I'm going to go down based on this. It's people that write the policy that tell the stock whether it's going up or down, or just by word of mouth. You know, people investing based on what's, what the scuttle is. How Elon Musk went too far. He isn't anti-Semite. He, he looks... He's, the billionaire aren't left many wondering. If he's not Jewish, I guess he's the only billionaire that's not Jewish. Because all the, all the big ones are all Jewish. They're the Jewish diaspora. Maybe they're not... Jews... Maybe they're not a uh, country of origin or, you know, their family of origin Jew, but their families, most families that come from Mid-Eastern Europe or Europe at all are at least part Jewish. If you don't think the Queen was part Jew, you better get your eyes examined. I don't think Eli Musk is not, I think Eli Musk has Jewish in him too. How could he be anti-Semite? It's just part of the three ring circus. You got show I was talking about before that that British show where they have that outage. These people are rioting, you know, and it's the white supremacist again. It's always about the white. Like nobody, no other country in the world has racial problems, and white people are the biggest population in the world. We're going extinct. And they don't want to feed people like me. They want to feed more healthy immigrants first. So privileged people can have more people to manage all the extra things they're going to buy this year. Well, I could buy some things too, but it wouldn't be that kind of thing. I would like to buy a thing that a house, a different house, where I can get away from the pollution and all my neighbors' pollutions I think every human is entitled to five acres and a vehicle. You know, they wanted to give the, the during the reconstruction after the slavery, after the Emancipation Proclamation, they wanted to give the slaves five acres and a mule. Well, that's exactly right. That's what everybody needs to stay safe 
from his neighbors, whatever his neighbor can do to him, easily. So I'm looking for five acres and a back and a and a, a ditch witch. Because <laughs> no doubt I'll have some landscaping to do. A ransomware game wanted its victim to pay up, so so it went to the SEC. New rules which will require companies to disclose major cybersecurity incidents to go to effect. It's white people that are in danger of becoming extinct, yet we keep helping. Everybody else have more babies and make their own. It's like they come into this country and that's another big reason why racism is just part of the game because when you when you make racism part of the game yet yet you you bring all these immigrants in they're forced to have more children to build their own communities and their own wealth there's their own source of wealth up from their own businesses instead of blending in with everybody else that's what I was getting to say about these white supremacists they're they're being paid by the privileged to create to, to, just to keep the three ring circus going to keep our current cultural DNA what it is sex and things because those are the biggest slave candies that's what satisfies the most slaves with the least money. With the least amount of output on behalf of the on from the coming from the privilege. And the more things they buy, the more slaves they need to manage their things. Houses shouldn't be allowed to be built over 3,500 square feet to force the privilege to manage their own things and put a cap of one help, one person per family uh, for outside help, for daily outside help, not like your contractors and stuff, um, but for the daily help that you, that you need for mowing your lawn and doing your house cleaning and that kind of thing. Nobody should have more than one slave. Who really wants to clean somebody else's toilet when they want to be spending their time having a life as well? Why should why isn't having a life triaged? Why isn't having a life part of affirmative action? Why aren't taxes a part of affirmative action? How could they make somebody that's only getting fifteen thousand dollars a year in disability? Pay eight thousand dollars in taxes. That's half my income. Most wealthy people don't pay half. That's more than half my income. That doesn't include sales tax either. But um, just because I want to breathe clean air, the taxes are illegal. How can you tax somebody on sewage fees when they're not using the sewer that much? And they won't let you get a deduct meter. They call it a deduct meter. The township doesn't have a policy that citizens can have a deduct meter, so they keep us from, from getting one for our outside water usage. My Stowe Township is so corrupt, it's unbelievable. Stowe Rock, the Stowe Rock School District is historically been one of the most corrupt school districts in the world, in this country, and they remain that way. We had a board of, we had a temporary board that the government issued of three people for a long time, and 
nothing obviously ever came of that. It didn't spread out to the townships, that's for sure. They're as corrupt as they always were, to, in, in my mind. Okay, well, um, I'm done with my breakfast and I'm not going to be doing any more news. I did my food shopping yesterday and that pretty much took up a lot of my time. So, um, I'm going to do the economic factors. Well, maybe I'll do um, some of my economic factors. That's enough of this. Let's see. I ended on Wednesday. Let's do a couple at least. Philadelphia Fed Manufacturing Index. It's uh, not as bad as it was the last month. Minus 9 to minus 5.9. Uh, above estimates better than estimates. Okay, jobless claims. 231 over 217, 217,000 the last time. So that got worse. The moving average moved up, of course. Not too good on jobs, so that's what happened on Thursday. Part of what happened. I already read this one. Import and export. It seemed like I did this one already, but I did this on Wednesday, so I couldn't have. Oh, prices. Imports, um, minus 0.8 for the month, minus 2.0 for the year. Exports, minus 1.1 for the month, and minus 4.9 for the year. Uh, that seems like that's switching around. Because uh, ours were coming up for the longest time. Ours were moving up. Let's see, the white export prices are the white, are this one here. They were going down. Now import, now they're dose of dough in it. Now the import prices are coming up. Well, not, not too much, not yet. U.S. industrial production, minus 0.6 month to month, manufacturing minus 0.7, manufacturing output capacity utilization 78.9 versus 79, that came down more, so industrial production, came way down, it's been moving down since July's, or since, uh, let's see, I'm not, way up for August, it was way down for July, and that's what's happened with that. And since then it's been moving down. I don't know if you can, can you see that? Yeah, you should be able to see that. Housing market index. Forty to thirty-four this month. So forty last month to thirty-four this month. Oh, that is coming up. Housing market. Index. And this is based on this is just Wells Fargo. This is the Wells Fargo's. This covers Indexes for current single family home sales. It has been on the decline since 62 in July. Oh, the rate of 62, not 1962. It was at 62 in July. Okay, they're just recapping the graph there. So, I thought it had more to go down. I wasn't believing that. That's single family homes. Gas report minus six prior sixty BCF storage is storage went up by sixty. Treasury balance. Treasury balance. New 
Zealand PPI for a, they're doing New Zealand's as a quarter. Oh brother. So October, November, December, Q3, so that's for I guess I'll put that in the September one. My CPI PPI, PPI September's New Zealand. Now they change that to quarter. Everybody else is doing monthly. I wonder if everybody's changing over now. They think somehow that's oh, so I don't so it's not reported. Just so people don't see it as much. They don't want the public. How did two of these pull up? I only had one up, and they pulled two up, hoping that I'd hoping that I'd save the one that I didn't write on probably. Quarterly, no. Q3, how ridiculous. This is the PPI, no CPI. But the PPI is 2.1. No, no CPI, 2.1. PPI, 1.1.16.23. The net is September. I, I swear, it feels like they change things just based on what I'm doing. I'm probably not the only one, but believe me, they don't want us to see these CPI, PPI numbers anymore. They're probably all going to switch to quarterly. Like, the fact that, that rich people need more and more employees to manage their things doesn't affect any of us, huh? It's not increasing the population and, and forcing all of us to live in the pollution and, and in the pollutions of the pyramid, which includes horrible bullying, which includes the psycho -razzi, which includes controlling our minds until we become full-fledged fascist pigs like themselves. Privilege can't exist without slavery, and slavery can't exist without privilege. Retail sales. Month over month, from point no, minus 0.9 to minus 0.3, year over year, minus 0.1 to minus 2.7. Retail sales. They break that down then into service later at some point. Housing starts. U.S. housing starts from 1.358 million to 1.372 million and uh, that's the annual rate. I, after I got out one day when I was not remembering whether it was monthly or not, I thought that was monthly. I thought there might have been a chance that was monthly and I'm like, oh my god the terraforming that you'd have to do for that. But it'll be that eventually. It won't be long before that's a monthly figure and there won't be any trees left at all. They'll be making our oxygen and, you know, they can direct pollution now into my house so they'll only be directing the oxygen into fascist people's homes when they do start making it. Or they'll be cleaning the air around the fascist people's homes and not the non-fascists. Permits went from 1.473 to 1.487 annual rate. So that's up to 372 to 3. Those are both up. Sadly, they're not going to get the population under control. But to me, that's just the population growing, and that's no good. I, I consider it bad news. The market should be going down on that, not up. U.S. commerce retail, even even sales, the, the market should be going down if the sales are going up, not, not up. Let people keep making money on their investments. Let people have the, secure, the, the, the comfort that they know that they'll be able to buy all the food and, have, and, and the gas and the supplies they need just to stay alive and have clean air to breathe and enjoy the environment first. You know, first and foremost, all that clean stuff, all the clean air and everything that you take into your body through, through your senses, 
has to be clean first and then the other stuff later after we get the population under control it should just freeze everything for now you know only let let um, and, and who gets to move around first will be senior citizens people that have been here the longest not new fresh immigrants that can work harder than us we worked hard too and we were not privileged so we didn't get to enjoy what we worked for yet a brand new immigrant can enjoy his life more than some uh, an American citizen that's been here for 80 years it is not it doesn't make any sense at all we're caught up with affirmative action with black people they're creating their own communities now we did enough that way we don't want the blacks to overpopulate either we don't want anybody to overpopulate we need to stop the population increases there's no ifs ands or buts about it um, uh, subsistence is a finite equation did we did we expand our education and our minds to create irrational people or rational people there are very few rational people in this country at all people are worshiping movie stars they're killing each other to get on stage to touch a movie star I was raped I was raped for two years straight every day all day by one because I'm not making a goddess out of her so this is what people need to focus on subsistence it's a finite equation not not supplying more slaves for more privileged people to buy more things to ch which entails dropping more trees down which entails us living which entails the unprivileged living in more and more pollution and being bullied more and more so please read my jokes in in my files too if you didn't read that in the blog I do have jokes in there I don't get a really that good of a response to my jokes so it's very little inspiration to write, to write more jokes people aren't even enjoying them so thanks for watching and come back